Hey there, Cheese here, and welcome back to the Mega Man Zero Perfect Runs. Last time I took on an easy boss, and it made me realize so far I've only taken on easy bosses. And that just seems like I'm doing the game a disservice, so I'm going to take on the hardest boss I know of. Harpuya, Guardian of Master X. Aztec Falcon mentioned him back in this stage, and boy if that's not the most imposing sounding name, I don't know what is. Right now he is chasing after Colbor, member of our team. He thinks he found a way into the uh, enemy base through the subway system and he's trying to sneak in, but we've lost contact with him. And that bodes very poorly, so let's check up on him. Enemy activities are increasing in intensity. Uh-oh, Colbert's unit has been found for sure, so yeah, why else would a bunch of enemies stand on train tracks? I mean, sooner or later, a train's coming through here and they're gonna get creamed with just a straight shot, nowhere to hide. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, no train is running today. A few platforms that crumbling away are all that's left to support an army of annoyances and turtles. Or toodles. Capcom named this enemy without an art. They're Super Toodle Bros. The top and bottom take turns lobbing bombs at you and spitting missiles, even if the top's dead. If the bottom's dead, the top will die with it. Wait a bit there to lead the Raven's missiles into the wall. Don't want them out and about. Especially not while you're trying to get away from this guy. Or his shot, or whatever you want to get away from. Also try to fight him while on the left side of that platform so you're not dealing with the hunter shots. This is the stage where Pantheon Flyers are the biggest nuisance. Aha! I cleared it. Alright, I think I can do that consistently at last. Yeah, there's more than just the two. I ran right by two just at the beginning of the stage. And Zero, what are you doing? That guy's a lot more dangerous, or a lot less dangerous than the Pantheon Flyers. No, get him back here. Oh well, I guess we should take care of him first. This guy is Harpuya, one of the four guardians of Master X. He's got his own boss music, and he sounds scary. He's not scary. Although, for some reason, I've lost a couple runs to him, and that's just insulting. After that stage. He'd like to- he tries to spend most of the battle in the air, flying- swooping around and sending shockwaves down onto the poor souls below. In reality, he spends most of the battle being knocked down to the ground. Uh-oh. So this triple shot gets harder- whoops. Harder and harder to dodge the less room you have. And so, once he gets far enough onto the screen, because he, he lands a little closer to you each time you knock him back down, he. Um, each time he gets close to the center of the screen, you'll want to switch sides with him to give yourself more room. That was Harpuya's X Attack. And this is Harpuya's normal attack. You don't want him to use that pose because of those... That thing he sent out was a homing missile, and they're the one part of this battle that is dangerous. By the way, that X attack, the walls of electricity hurt you. The tornado just tries to push you into them. So you've got to time your whatchamadoos, your dashes, properly. And I'm going to try and change sides. Alright. Sometimes he does his calling homing missiles pose when he's in the center, and that's bad news. You just gotta knock him back down and hope he stops before you get in trouble. And back down you go. I'm not going to talk. I'M DONE WITH THIS STAGE! <laughs> you sure did, Harpuya. You only got me like four times. Ah, I'm so glad I didn't choke there. Anyway, mission's complete. Well, and our average score still seems to be above an 86. I guess 
that initial like 90 something did wonders for our average. I did expect it to be lower by now. Oh well. <sighs> oh, I'm so glad to be done with that stage. Those Pantheon flyers are such a nuisance and annoyance, a pain. I. Yeah, I got, I got, I got. But we got Kobor back. His, his team wasn't so lucky, but Kobor's back. That's something, right? Every person counts, you know. Oh, I forgive him. I'm sure he's an awesome guy. Look how much he tried to help now. Oh, I'm saving data on screen. Look, here's my data files. And now they look like this. Um, so. There's one extra that's also an outtake. And there's more than one outtakes. There's more than one outtake that isn't an extra. Here you go. Enjoy. There's also some floor spines and instances in which hate, aggravation, and stress all make themselves very clear. Great fun! Uh oh, and there's a shortcut, but that's lame. Yeah, here's a shortcut. Here's the extras for this video. Uh, you can fall down here and take a shortcut. It skips that whole problematic area up there, but it's. Uh, a little cheap, I guess. And it also misses out on, like, the few enemy kills that you can get in this stage. If you're going for score, that matters, I guess. Me, I'm going for honor or something like that, I don't know. I'm going for not cop out. Mission start, go, go, go. And let's go. This is, oh, actually, no. It's, see, I, fuck. The first enemy again. Well, so we've got train tracks. Those are nice and even, and they, again, they didn't need our help to cut off the supply route. I struggle to think of a train that can run on this kind of track. I hate these things. Toodle bro. So, even though train tracks should be nice and even, I mean, seriously, I str struggle to think of, okay, a train that can run on this sort of terrain. You remember how I mentioned, uh, oh, what are you doing there? What's a plan doing here? Can I make it, I can make it back, and then get hit. Wonderful! Zero's help wasn't actually needed to, um, remove their track. What are you doing there? Nothing happened here. And it's left the tracks in a state that I doubt any vehicle can run on. I struggle to think of it. Hate more than this. Maybe footholders. He's got a couple of attacks. One of his basic ones is swooping across the sky and letting out that wow. This is the stage where Pantheon flyers are a very obvious nuisance. Um, and this is, by the way, I mentioned that there's a stage where these guys become. What are you? Fark! 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 It's like Bark. All that's left are a few platforms. These guys, which come, which like when you shoot, when they shoot, they change directions in who knows which way. And they can travel through ground, shoot through ground, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. But that one I want to take out because I've got to take my time here. Ah, so sad. They can fly wherever they want. Come on screen so quickly! When you're both moving up and down. He'll get a little closer each time you knock him back down after this, but... If he starts doing that, you want him to knock back down anyway, even if it means less room for... Missiles are bad. Missiles are bad. Oh. Change direction at a moment's notice. If either you or they, I didn't jump off the wall there. Oh well. 
At least I can not be angry about that one. You have, at some points, moving platforms, Pantheon shooters flying at you. Hate! Uh, onto part of this stage where I hate these guys. They take turns firing at, firing, lobbing bombs from the top and running into spikes on the bottom. Each time you bob him back down though, he'll be a little bit closer to you, so eventually you'll want to change size so that this triple shot, so that you'll have room for hit, uh, the second, oh man. I hate how, like, just fatigue wears on me and I can do, sorry, girl. Well, time to fight the stage again. For a multitude of reasons. Ah! Horrible new sense. Same way. I should just like go forward there if that happens. Hurry up in the first part of Oh my gosh. Shine brightly through out of their most annoying traits. I hate you. I could not dodge that, you descended upon me. Definitely would recommend that. You're doing it again! Oh hey, I dodged it. What did I do that for? Swooping around and launching a volley of- uh, No! Overall, this guy's easy. He can- he's also a long fart. <laughs> he's also a long fart. Yes. Spies the speed up once you're on level with them. Classic. And classic lag. Best time of all. Why, do, why are you going for right? Net, ah. These guys, they change direction however they want. They shoot at you whenever they run. They don't stay stunned when you expect them to. They fly through ground. They just fly into you. It's a nightmare. Well, at least I got to show off the Pantheon Flyers' actions during the outtakes. I didn't say anything about them during the run, and they hardly showed up. And there's a reason for that. Let's see that rating. Harpuya and his stage get to 6 out of 10, and as much as they shouldn't deserve it, most of that comes from the Pantheon Flyers. Four individual basic enemies that caused over half of my outtakes for this level and for the first time in this series gave me enough outtakes that I actually had to pay attention and whittle down which ones I wanted to keep. Up till this point, the most outtakes I've cut from a video has been two, but this time, oh boy were there more. Pantheon flyers are just horrendous to deal with. You want to stay away from them since they can fire at any time, but their sporadic movement patterns don't make that easier. They're bad enough that the best way i found to deal with them is to take pains to avoid dealing with them. And that works just fine for the first two, but for the fourth you're still left with a bit of a gamble on getting past the um, hunter on the final platform safely, and with the third, the most you can do is go to the most peaceful spot you can find nearby and hope the Pantheon uh, flyer isn't doing anything too erratic today. And then there's Harpuya. Despite being well known for being one of the easiest fights in the series, uh, Harpuya gave me issues. It's all because of that triple shot of his, and well, why would it be anything else? He doesn't get to use any of his other attacks. Not for the entire boss fight with this triple layer health bar. And that's what causes the issues, because that attack does require some degree of precision to pull off, and Dodging it 16 times in a row does kind of start getting challenging once the fight puts you to sleep. Honestly, I don't think Harpuya on his own would merit a single point increase in difficulty, but a couple outtakes against Harpuya means more than a couple outtakes against the Pantheon Flyers, and so somehow Harpuya ends up ratcheting his stage's difficulty up quite a bit, and thus the six. Honestly, though, despite all the irritation that was coming from the Pantheon Flyers with how little I expected to have issues with this stage, I did enjoy it. Even though it wasn't exactly a shining example of stage or boss design. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I hope you'll tune in next time. Until then, this has been Cheese. See ya!